she's like, wet. And I'm like, bitch. And she's like, what? And I'm like, bitch, go and check, the, check our messages. Fuck it, we're here. Oh, real hot girl shit. story times don't forget to leave me a like comment and subscribe i also have a playlist of story times here on my channel so click the i above for that playlist and i am uploading all vlogmas long so definitely keep it locked here on this channel <sighs> y'all this is listen this is a long a long awaited story time i'm also gonna be um baking some cookies yes my cookie sheet is fucking dirty it's not dirty but like i can't seem to like get the this little stuff off of it who cares though um i'm baking some cookies while i do this because this is just a lot it's a lot it's upsetting me in my home girl because we feel like well damn so let me preheat this oven before i give y'all the little disclaimer this says 350 start also i want to thank the subscriber that gave me the idea to do like a cooking video she said like a tipsy cooking video but i don't trust myself being tipsy and trying to cook <laughs> and trying to talk to y'all just in case you know what i mean i'm gonna still do that probably later um but this is just gonna be you know cook with me while i give y'all this messy ass terrible ass story time i'm just putting the disclaimer out there now I have not given like a truly teaful, messy, messy story time in a long time because the last time I did it, bitches was ready to fight me. And I don't need bitches ready to fight me. Y'all, I will be 25 in like three, four months. You know what I'm saying? I do not need bitches still trying to fight me. <laughs> so because of that, I have kept this to myself. But bitches vlog miss and I need content and I'm running out of ideas. So fuck it, we're here. But I'm telling y'all right now, y'all please don't be messy to try to figure out who I'm talking about. Because if you figure it out and then they hear it and then now I'm in drama, then we can't do this anymore. We can't kiki, we can't talk, we can't, you know, give the girls what they wanted. So I'm just asking as my disclaimer to y'all because I had this story time and then I also wanted to do like my horror story with meeting a celebrity and that one is very obvious as to who I'm talking about um especially if you watch my channel but again I don't want to go I don't want to find myself on the shade room I do not need to be on the shade room teams behind my motherfucking YouTube channel so I'm trusting y'all this is this is we're trying here but if y'all fuck it up Ain't no more story times for y'all. While I'm oiling my pan, let me go ahead and set the scene. So this story time takes place in 2019. If you've been following me for a very long time, then you may or may not know that in 2019, while I was still in college, I had an internship in New York City. Yes, girl, the Big Apple, you know, New York. <laughs> Um, I had an internship there. So I was staying with my play cousin and my play aunt in the Bronx. Shout out to them. And I was working at this internship, you know, putting in a lot of hours, kind of doing my thing. But bitch, it was free. Wait, the, the oven heated up. It was free. So a hoe is broke, okay? The internship started June, what, 1st? I don't leave until August. So I have to make, because my dad gave me like $300, but I had to make $300 stretch from June to August in New York City, the most expensive city in the United States. I'm not making that up. It's a thing. <laughs> so I'm like, oh wow, I'm broke as fuck. So we get to, I believe it was July. We get to like the beginning of July and girl, I just spent up that $300. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna say like, oh no, I was, you know, pinching every penny and I wasn't eating out and da da da. No, girl, I'm, I'm lying. I was out. I was eating pizza here, bodega food there, restaurant food there. Like, baby, I was, I was living my life. 
like okay do it like it's my b-day you know what i'm saying like it was my b-day not really and i was doing it so we get to july i'm broke follow me camera follow me so i'm broke my cousin is like oh my play cousin he's like oh well one of my friends they're doing stuff for pride like we're gonna get um uh what's it called a float you want to do stuff for pride she also sells hookah you can maybe help her out with that and she'll you know give you like 50 dollars or something so i'm like you know what let's do it i'm fucking up these cookies y'all like it's not even remotely in the squares that they were originally in but whatever um so i'm like sure let me let me do it here i'm like sure so i'm talking with her and i'm putting the cookies on the sheet y'all can't see so she's like yeah so what we'll do for pride um we're gonna have you be a hookah girl and i'll insert videos and clips so y'all can see and some pictures so i'm there at this pride party this is one of the most fun parties i've ever been to in my life by the way i'm not even gonna hold you um i've been to pride once before this but pride in north carolina is not like pride in fucking new york city and this is before the pandemic because i told you i was 2019 like people are out motherfucking side so me being you know the person i am i'm like well i'm gonna find me somebody you know what i'm saying to be dancing on to be throwing it back to you know have a good time i'm gonna find me somebody to do that with so i get on the good old titter okay i'm on tinder i'm me i'm talking to this girl from philadelphia and she's cool but i'm like ah you know she's in philly she's not gonna be here for pride i need some options <laughs> bitch i need some options you know i need a nigga in my face while i'm here being cute and shaking this ass somebody need to see it so i'm gonna make sure somebody see it so i start talking to this girl i'm talking to a couple girls but this girl particularly is the who the story is about <laughs> um and, and you're gonna see why in a moment so i start talking to this girl right she's a teacher she's out in jersey but you know she comes to new you know to new york a lot because obviously jersey's right new jersey's right there so i'm like oh you know like i'm talking to her but the problem that i notice is like she's not a good texter like i'll text her and then like she might text me back once in a day or she might text me back like a day later and i'm just like girl you need to talk to me consistently for me to even like think of you in that way because I'm a conversationalist like I'm a person that you need to be talking to me or else I'm gonna lose interest and that's just what it is so hold on thumbnail so but y'all y'all see the cookies right <laughs> so yes the, the yes these cookies look a little fucked up but it's all gonna bake the same and it's gonna taste the same either way even though some of them are a little deformed okay look all cookies matter <laughs> So let me pop these in the oven, then we'll continue. So, how long does it say to cook these for before I fucking burn them? Because I'm talking too much. It says 11 to 12 minutes. Okay. So, moving forward. So, the girl is like, hey, I'm going to this club, blah, blah, blah. You should pull up. And I'm like, wait, that's the club that I'm doing hookah at. Like, I'm literally here serving hookah. Like, text me when you get here, let me know. So she messages me and she's like, oh, on the way or oh, you know, five minutes away, whatever. I see her. Y'all know I'm a tall ass bitch. I'm 5'10", if you can't tell. Look at me compared to the fucking refrigerator. I'm a tall ass bitch. So <laughs> she sees me. She's a little shorter than me. She's like, hey, and she like pats my stomach, which I don't know why she patted my stomach. I'm not pregnant, but cool. <laughs> so she pats my stomach. I'm like, oh, hi. Um, and again, this is the girl that I've been trying to like talk to, but she's just not consistent. So me and the girl, she sees me at the club. She's like, when do you get a break or when do you get off? I want to like, you know, chill with you. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm working right now. But when I get a break, I'll text you. They, some shit happened with the hookah. We ran out of, I think we ran out of, it was either Coles or Shisha. Either way, we ran, <laughs> not me getting water in my eye. We ran out of something that is, you know, detrimental for the hookah. Like, we need it. So I'm like, well, I'm, a, I'm finna have a break. Like, I'll meet you outside. I meet her outside. The club is right here. We are on the steps right across the street, smoking weed in the public. <laughs> just out in public she is like lighting the blunt first she was having issues getting the blunt out of like she had it in a little container and we're just like trying to get it out this little bottle finally the blunt comes out we're sitting on the steps 
smoking weed, having conversations. She's cool and I'm like, okay, you seem cool. Like, I'm like kind of feeling her, but I'm like, you need to get better at texting me. I'm not, I shouldn't have to be the one to start a conversation every time. She's like, okay, just hold me accountable. <sighs> the night ends. Um, a few days later, I text her. She's still kind of doing the same shit, not really texting me, not really like giving me the attention I want. So I'm like, you know what? Me and the Philly girl that I told y'all about, I'm gonna just stay texting her instead because her and I just have a better connection. Cool. Remember this, right? Y'all, why I go on YouTube two months later, I'm talking about maybe 60 days. <laughs> I would even maybe I'll give you I'll give you 90 days I'll give you 90 days 90 days later this girl is in a very public relationship with like a famous youtuber and what's crazy the famous youtuber is someone that I'm subscribed to so because she's really good at what she does I'm not gonna say what she does because then it's not gonna be hard to figure it out I see this girl in her thumbnail but I'm thinking like oh maybe they're friends you know what I mean like because of the area that they live in no these hoes in a full relationship <laughs> and I text my homegirl Kayla shout out to Kayla her channel will be linked down below subscribe to Kayla um I text Kayla and I'm like bitch and she's like wet and I'm like bitch and she's like what and I'm like bitch go check the check our messages because I sent you a video watch it <laughs> she's like what's happening so I tell her I'm like tell me why the girl that, that she's in a relationship with now is the girl you I was talking to <laughs> and she was like you are lying I'm like no girl I wish I was lying so that happened right so backtracking to that same party. Oh, it's, you thought it was just that? No, bro. I have multiple story times that I'm putting in one because they all mix together. Back to that same party, right? There was another girl I was talking to. And her and I had actually been talking way before the party because I had messaged her because I saw her on Instagram. I liked some pictures. She liked some pictures. We talked a little bit in the DM. It was my birthday. So she was like, oh, happy birthday. It was like some stuff going on, right? Oh, and I'm not shit, y'all, because when all that happened at that party, mind you, I kissed somebody at that fucking pride party. Two people. Ooh. I kissed two people at that fucking pride party. Um, and I had a, a bae back at home in fucking South Carolina. Like, it was a lot. And she was, you know, we, her and I had talked a little bit in March of that year. This was happening, like I told y'all, in July. And we lost touch. But then I saw her at the party and I'm like, do you need a hookah? Thinking like maybe she'll recognize me, but I don't want to say like, hey, I used to talk to you. Like, what's up? Just in case she doesn't remember and then I get embarrassed. So I see her at that party and she's like being cool, but I still don't think that she knows who I am or that she knows that we've spoken before. So I don't want to like ruin it. But I feel like maybe in her mind, she was like, I feel like I've seen you before, but she didn't say anything. So I'm not, you know, I don't want to risk embarrassing myself when I don't have to. In the same scenario, maybe unlike the other girl, the other girl I would say like maybe it was like 90 days. This bitch six weeks later has a pop out <laughs> with another well-known YouTuber that I love. Um, and I actually really loved their relationship. Like it's not, it's nothing against them. It's I actually think they work really well together. Um, but it was just so funny because back to back, I literally texted Kayla again bitch and she's like what and I'm like look at this URL I'm about to send you and she's like oh hell ain't that so and so and I'm like yeah and they dating so and so <laughs> she belongs to the streets huh. on the internet again everybody I date everybody I used to talk to just seems to keep ending up in a pop out <laughs> in a relationship <laughs> when I was talking to me <laughs> But the relationship ain't with me. Like, what is happening? Maybe I'm just good at picking people because this is two people from that fucking party that I've, you know, had a, a dealings with that are in, you know, full-blown relationships on the internet. Like, couples, goals, everything. So now we get to the third one. And this is what triggered me to do this video because as y'all can tell, I told you this happened back in 2019. I've kept this to myself for a while. <laughs> For a reason because I don't need bitches trying to fight me over shit I said on the internet but recently I'm talking about like two months ago uh, yeah maybe two months ago <laughs> um this girl so I do these videos on TikTok where I say like rating my DMs right 
and this girl messaged me you know in my dms on tiktok and put like a little couch and she was like oh uh this is me you know moving into your dms or something but i don't say nothing about it girl is just living in my dms and i'm not responding tell me why this was like two months ago again 60 days bitch 60 days this isn't even the the 90 day rule word to steve harvey bitch this is 60 days and it might have been like it's giving six weeks <laughs> to be honest why she have a pop out that i just saw on youtube yesterday with a girl the girl moved to live with her i said now wait a goddamn minute <laughs> and i'm not gonna give too much detail about the girl because it's very like she's very well known on tiktok and what she does is very well known on tiktok so it's not hard to figure it out who it is but i'm just like isn't this the same person that was in my dm 60 days ago is now in a full-blown relationship y'all live together this bitch done moved across the country to be with you what <laughs> excuse me are you kidding me bitch i'm just like in shock so when i saw it and in my mind i'm like maybe i'm tripping like maybe it's me click on a video i'm in love this babe and in my mind i'm just like if only she fucking knew <laughs> i'm not a messy bitch the messy the, listen i'm not a messy bitch i would never i just wanted to come to you as a woman to drop this let you know she was in my idea i'm not gonna do that i would never do that i would never me and her used to talk i'm not that girl i will never be that girl i do not care enough That's, the only time i would ever do some shit like that is if it's somebody that i'm currently dealing with and i'm about to cut them off because i found out that this is going on then i'll be like hey i just want to let you know this this and this happened which i actually did that <laughs> last year because i was dating somebody the girl remember the full circle bitch full circle the girl from philly that i told y'all about from 2019 bitch she came back yeah and then i had to do that <laughs> and i if you want that story time comment down below i told y'all though if y'all fuck this up this is the last juicy story time y'all get i'm trying to be more vulnerable with y'all but don't fuck it up but if y'all want the story time about how i came to someone as a woman let me know <laughs> also if you want the story time about how i had a horrible encounter with a celebrity let me know <laughs> um but yeah so i just maybe i'm good at picking them but i'm not good at like picking who's right for me because this is the third girl now that i've you know had an encounter with that ends up in a pop out in a very public relationship <laughs> so maybe it's me i don't i don't know um but i love you guys so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching if you like today's story time definitely leave me a comment down below for more story time so i can get them to y'all fast like 911 in the white neighborhood and i will see you in my next one i was trying to spare her because i was about to come i was about to come on this web you know my little editing me i was about to come in and be like you know what i'm wrong y'all i'm looking at the screenshot and it's from the 6th of august and i just saw the video of her and her girl yesterday so you know it wasn't um you know it wasn't a two two month pop out y'all tell me why i go on her page right and i'm just scrolling to see when did she start showing this girl y'all this screenshot is from the 6th of august she popped out with her girl on the 30th of august on her page these motherfuckers ain't I, every like i just never mind because i ain't a messy bitch but i just it's funny that's all i'm gonna say it's very funny it's it's giving hee ha it's giving it's giving circus <laughs> Woo! These motherfuckers is terrible. I hate people. I also wanted to show y'all really quick how the cookies turned out. Um, huh? Here we are. Yes, they look a little deformed, but they're gonna taste good either way. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.